Joining me now is Tennessee Congressman, member of the House Oversight Committee, Tim Burchett. Congressman, that's my question. What are they going to do the next time you release more information about them? I'm sure we'll have a nice hearing and write somebody a strong letter. I'm, I'm tired. We need to take the gloves off. This is ridiculous. This is we got 22 million plus dollars. They've got over 20 bank accounts and, and um, LLCs. It's ridiculous. What we need to do is, is bring this forward. Bring in Hunter Biden. Bring in Joe Biden. There's history for that. It's happened. U.S. Ulysses Grant, other presidents, Jimmy Carter's come before um, a committee before. It, there's history of it. We need to we need to bring it and, and bring it to the American public, and we need to start start this soon. I, I think because we just keep dragging it. At, at what point are we are we not there? I think September first day we're back in September. Mm -hmm. We ought to start. Are to start that that process. But I, I'm going to ask you to drop some dimes here. But who's not who's not in favor of hauling him in front of the in front of Congress? I don't think anybody is. It just takes so much. I, I'm, you know, that's what I'm sick about this thing. You got to get staff involved. You got to just do it. That gummit. The American public is fed up. Yeah. I'm fed up. Let's roll. I'm. It's ridiculous. This thing has gone on too long. He's he's Im implicated his father multiple times. That witnesses have. I mean, the only people that are that are, um, are, are are singing Biden's praises are, are two members of the Democrat parties and those knuckleheads over at CNN. Right. Well, you know, a former FBI agent, 12 hours before this indictment, mind you, came out and was like, yeah, actually, um, that all that stuff about Hunter being tipped off about the investigation. Oh, you know, yeah, he was informed about that ahead of time, but yet they raid Mar-a-Lago with no warning. So, like, what gives here and, and how much more does it take to to at least do something? It doesn't take anything, but the problem you have is a crooked justice system, uh, justice department, top to bottom. They need to just gut that thing. It's not a everybody, you know, everybody wants to treat it like it's a little, little trash can. You need to just pick and choose. Hell, we need to turn it upside down and put a fire hose on it and clean the whole bunch out. It's a rat's nest. Let's go. Let's cut their money off if we have to. There's there's precedent for that. There's the Holman Act. We can do that. We can mm -hmm. specifically target offices. We need to we need to get some. You know, so, but Gorka just said it. We need to get some balls. We do. It's ridiculous. I'm over it. Yeah, real quick on the, on this Trump indictment. There's, you know, obviously Jack Smith and now as a special counsel, you guys can't haul him in front of you. Is there any way to get to the bottom of, of some of the stuff that he's doing and how cattywampus it may be? I don't know. We can do it in the public opinion. Again, you're not going to get anything out of the Senate because of the 60 vote rule. But let's just go ahead. Let's just let's go ahead with this indictment and, and let's go ahead um, with with. It, it, you know, trying to remove him from office. We're not going to, but we ought to, we ought to hang it around his neck. You know, they, they haven't even proved the IRS hasn't even shown where they paid any taxes. $22 million and no taxes. Hell, you and I spend, get $600 worth of sales on eBay. And guess what? We get a letter from the freaking IRS. Yeah. This is ridiculous. The American public needs to be irate about it, and they should. And shame on the, the, the old school media. They're just a bunch of lap yeah. dogs to the left wing, and, and that, that's why their ratings are in the tank and your alls are soaring. Congress, I, well, I appreciate that. I mean, look, I, the, I hate the IRS as much as the next year. I work from January to June for free to pay the tax tab so they can ship my money to countries who hate us. Congressman Tim Burchett, yeah. appreciate you being here. Thank you, brother, and thank you for serving our great country. America.